Often, when Turning Points for Children meets many of their kids, there is despair and fear where the joy of childhood ought to be. Too often, when the children arrive at their next foster home, they're carrying a shopping bag with all their worldly belongings, a couple pairs of clothes, a book, favorite toy, and what you realize is all their childhood memories are in that bag. One child was 14 and had been in so many different homes. When asked, who's your next of kin, he would always answer his city social worker because that was the only consistent person in his life. He was 14 and had been in different homes for 11 years, which means his life as a tiny commuter with a brown paper bag suitcase began at the age of three years old. Turning Points for Children's Family Finding Program gives kids the empowering childhoods they deserve. Their cutting-edge methods are the result of congressional hearings and state-of-the-art research by national child connection expert Kevin Campbell, who has written about Turning Point's impressive commitment and their highly skilled delivery of family finding services. Lacking proper support systems, far too many foster children suffer in the worst ways. The statistics show most do not graduate from high school, become homeless or jailed, and there are profound drug dependency problems as well. They are broken, and they stay broken. The Turning Points for Children outreach changes all that, and their family finding program is the only one of its kind in Philadelphia. Their success rate is 98% in finding relatives or dear friends willing to take care of children in properly sustaining and genuinely loving ways. Knowing that fractured adults come from fractured childhoods, the energy behind Turning Points for Children's effective community outreach is unparalleled. We've moved mountains trying to find these families. Our workers take the time to get to know the child and their story, to really impact their lives and try and find those people, those family members that they long to find and they've been searching for their whole lives. Lewis Groh Miller is the director of Turning Points for Children's highly successful family finding program. Our workers really um, do intensive services, uh, meaning that not only do we send letters and make phone calls, but we send certified letters, we knock on doors, we look for them on Facebook, so no stone goes unturned. In their searching, the family finding staff sometimes have to go into places that might intimidate many people. Our staff do go to some areas that some might consider to be unsafe, but they know that their safety is, is cared is cared for. They're, we're always looking out for them. But I think what they get that overcomes that fear is that if I knock on this door, I'm going to find that father. If I ring that doorbell, their grandmother might open that door. So knowing that, not that they're putting themselves at risk, but knowing that the outcome, it could be huge. They're willing to take that risk uh, for that young person. With Tiffany, they listened intently and went into action. I was in multiple placements for the past three years, and I wasn't around the family. So I was like going to different placements like every two weeks or a month. And it's like, why should I get to know somebody if I'm just gonna leave again? And that sets up another negative mindset. So if getting to know families aren't worth it, then maybe nothing's worth it. Yeah, I feel that way a lot because sometimes I just go in my room and try to pray and ask, why did you choose to do this to me? Like, what have I done? Is it like to teach me a lesson or something? What did I do? Tiffany says her positive experience with Turning Point's family finding has inspired her to become an emergency medical technician and... Family findings changed my life because my brother, I talk to him now, and now that I started talking to him again, it's like my brother is back. I have somebody who cares about me and who calls me their little sister and tells me every day on my phone and texts me, I love you, little sis. One of Turning Point's most dramatic and intense search efforts was for the family of Mirella. It went from Pennsylvania to Wisconsin, then all the way to Romania as family finder Elizabeth Wendell 
track down the facts around this international family finding case. I, I can't even describe. It's 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 thrilling every time. Um, all different kinds of reactions from people, but it's it's like the finish line. You know, you finally found someone who's as excited as you are about this kid. I mean, there's really no one word for that. For example, Morella was really lost. Um, when she and I first started together, I, I was worried. I mean, she was in a scary place. And I kind of watched that change into knowing about everything from you know, what her sister looks like and what her family history is to her heritage and the country that she came from and her cultural identity and um, her feeling of being loved and that someone just loved her no matter what unconditionally. I think she's remarkable. I think where she was versus where she is is leaps and bounds. Mirella remembers the day Liz called with word that her family had been found in Romania. I was in shock. Um, I was actually so happy, uh, and when I got the other phone call that she found my mom, I was just, I was in, I was in tears. I was like, thank God, you know, something finally happened, and, uh, that was amazing. Mirella remembers when she first heard her sister's voice. There's nothing I could say. <laughs> There's just, like, when I heard her voice, automatically just started tearing up and then we called my little brothers that was just awesome as well. She went from being lost to making the the move and the decision to go to college and and become a psychologist. Ever since uh, I was uh, in a lot of RTFs, residentials, um, group homes and just seeing everyone having issues um, it actually made me want to help people. It's a basic need, like food or water. You just have to know that people love you. I've seen even the knowledge that people exist into the reunification, but even just knowing that someone has reached out, save, save lives, change lives for sure. It's marvelous how, how it all just comes together uh, one child at a time and one family at a time. If you would like to make a profound difference in the lives of young people, or if you or someone you know could use some help, call Turning Points for Children's Family Finding Program at 215-875-8200.